Hi, let's see how to fix the ESPN Apple TV error playback could not be started authorization failed. Are you the sports fan who loves to watch the live games and the highlights on the ESPN through your Apple TV but keeps encountering the frustrating error message? Playback could not be started authorization failed. This error can be caused by the variety of issues from the network connectivity problems to the outdated software. So let's see how to fix the ESPN Apple TV error. Playback could not be started. Authorization failed. The first method is check your internet connection. Make sure that you have a proper internet connection with very good speed and a very good bandwidth. If you are having a poor internet connection, try to reset your router or the modem. That will fix any kind of bugs or the glitch present in your internet connection. If you are using a Wi-Fi, try switching to a wired connection to rule out any potential wireless issues. Also, try to check if there is any kind of loose connection of the cable or the wire connected to the router or the modem. Finally, if you are still facing the issue, you can contact your internet service provider for further assistance. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution. Second method is check the ESPN and the TV and the Apple TV server status before trying any kind of troubleshooting methods. Always try to check the server status of the ESPN and the Apple TV because if there is any kind of maintenance or if there is any kind of ad hoc or the server maintenance is going on, you just need to wait for some time. Then you can try again later. The third method is restart your Apple TV and the ESPN app. A simple but often effective solution is to restart the Apple TV and the ESPN app. To restart your Apple TV, go to the settings app, then system and select restart. To restart the ESPN app, double click the Apple button on the home button on the Apple TV remote to bring up the app switcher. Swipe to find the ESPN app and swipe up to close it. Then reopen the app from the home screen. The fourth method is check for the updates. Always try to use the latest or the updated version of the uh, app that is for the Apple TV and the ESPN app. If you are using the older or the outdated version, you will face these kind of issues. Always try to use the latest or the updated version. If you are not updated to the latest version, try to update it. The fifth method is uninstall and reinstall the app. Some of the simple steps what you can do is like you can just uninstall the application and then again you can reinstall it by downloading from where you have downloaded previously. Before reinstalling, try to restart the system that will fix any kind of bugs or the glitches present in the system or the application. Okay, so for Android, you can go to the Google Play Store and you can uh, reinstall the application. For iOS, go to the App Store and you can type the particular application and then again you can reinstall it. For a similar methods for the Smart TV, navigate to the Apple sec App section on the Smart TV, highlights the ESPN app. Depending on your TV model, select the option to delete or uninstall the app. This might be done by pressing a button to on the remote or selecting the option on the screen. Go back to your Smart TV store or the Google Play Store, search for the ESPN app, select install to add the app back to your Smart TV. The sixth method is contact the ESPN or the Apple TV support team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing the problem, you can contact the ESPN or the Apple TV support team for further assistance. They are the expertise, they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you a better solution. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.